Hello, okay, this is Ella, and I was inspired by the video that Ginger Ninja put out. I thought that their video on the 30 day art improvement challenge was really cool. I've been wanting to do this challenge too with my buddy as well. So on Monday of a day, I don't remember, we decided that we were gonna start the challenge together. Uh, so I'm gonna show you my first 10 and then I'm gonna keep going and then I'm gonna combine them all into one video and it's gonna be so crazy okay all right so day one was self-portrait I have to introduce myself hello okay so I, first I was playing around with the pose I wanted to do but then I decided I really wanted to have like uh, I really want like the pose to represent me and I like going on walks so I'm mid walk uh, I go on walks every day and I also wanted to have my backpack on the screen as well because my backpack is like my walking billboard and it's like kind of like a get to know me because it has a bunch of stuff on it. I'll show a picture of my backpack because it's really cute. It's like one of those ones that have like the open thing uh, but the things won't fall out if you like display them because that's my biggest thing is I like lost a pin and like I've lost keychains before because they're on the outside and it makes me really sad. So having ones on the inside, when they fall, it's okay because it's still in the backpack. And I was, my my bag originally was gonna be either a Kaido like Ita bag or a child Ita bag, but now it's just like a conglomerate. I need to get like a bigger one so I can put like all of my stuff in it. And then I can dedicate that one bag to like child or something. Cause I have a bunch of like, I have a child plush and I have like a bunch of child pins and stuff. Uh, But there's a lot of characters I wanna make an Ita bag for and I don't have all the stuff to like fill though my person me is holding a coffee i have like a pink little or not pink i have a purple coffee cup and i drink coffee and i make different coffees try different flavors and play around with different uh brews because i like making coffee i got a blender recently and i've made java chip frappuccino and it was really good and i made like a peanut butter one today and it was really tasty what else I like wearing cardigans and big oversized cardigans. I mentioned that in my drawing myself in different styles. I was gonna draw myself in that outfit again, but I was like, let's shake it up a bit. So I gave myself um, a shirt that I really like. It's a jersey that has a number eight on it. And it's a blue lock jersey um, that my friend got. And all three of us, me, Robbie, and uh, him all have it. The matching shirts mine has eight and then each of them has like their favorite number it's kind of crazy and has like our last name on the back it's so cute i'm wearing boba earrings i have my airpods in i'm singing a crazy song my nails are pink i like painting my nails it's like a little like cozy pastime i'm a fan of south park i spent a whole summer just binging and watching all one through season 23 i remember i finished it at 3 a.m and wrote it in a like like feverishly in a book like in somewhere, it's like written, it says, I finished all of South Park this season at, and then it has like my number and then like the date <laughs> somewhere. I don't know where it is anymore, but it's probably just like somewhere in my sketchbook. Yeah, and I got my hair. I got my yellow blondish, like orangish hair. I need to re-dye it. Um, so it's like the color I want. I was gonna go like pink maybe, but I don't know. I like being like Batra, so I'm keeping it like that for now. <laughs> okay, day two. Day two was draw a figure using a reference and I will link the references and every like thing that I used that wasn't mine down below. So this is the reference I chose. It's a person that is like in like a kind of like a fighting pose. I did the, I think it's called the figure of reference. I'm not sure, but it's like that line that you like sweep. It's where the person is putting all their weight. You draw like a line and that helps you create like a base for like where you put the rest of the stick figure bodiness and then after that you build upon it and like create shapes and then start like carving out the character that you are drawing it's what we learned in our figure of like a reference class in my sculpt class that i took uh over the summer one year i think uh two years ago or one year i'm not sure but yeah it was a class i took it was really useful because he taught us stuff that like sounds like it's obvious, but it's like stuff that you need to like keep in your brain. You have a pose that you can't find on the internet. You can use that and make that pose yourself because uh, you're right there and you're, or you can get like a person that you know to like do the reference for you as best as you can. So you get like the right angles and things like that. Okay, for this character, after I finished a bunch of like the sketches and stuff, I wanted to go over and line art it and color it because I thought that'd be kind of nice to give it like a little final touch, if you will. Yeah, and I played around with the lighting a bit and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. This next day is day three. Draw a figure 
that's in action using a reference. So the reference I chose, I mentioned in a previous video that I wanted to do soccer poses because I like blue lock and I decided to draw my little OC that me and Robbie made and I designed. I want to make a video talking about him because I really like my little OC guy. I, thought, I think he's really cool, he's really tiny and, he's, and there he is kicking the little, little soccer ball. <laughs> this one was, I remember being a little difficult, uh, especially with like the legs. What I did to help is when I was trying to figure out how to do the pose, I looked at like the space outside of the arms and I noticed like the arm is like almost kind of like not parallel, but kind of parallel to the leg. It's like, and it forms like a shape of like a, a rectangle. So I kept that in mind. Like I just kept like the shapes on the outside in mind to help go about posing and stuff. And I gave him a quick color round, nothing too fancy. This day was very long, I remember. This one is draw a part of the human anatomy you have trouble with 20 times. That's a lot. So this one took me a really long time. I did it, I started it pretty early in the day and I kept coming back to it and working on it throughout the day because a thing that I have when it comes to art is I have a tendency to try to get everything done in one setting. But with something like this, I wanted to take my time uh, just so I can like really absorb uh, the stuff that I struggle with when it comes to hands. So I got a bunch of different reppies and I just, I got on like Pinterest too and looked up tutorials on like how to go about for making like the formations of like the hands. But I think that's like a big thing when it comes to like trying to learn something. Uh, it's what that, what's that one expression? It's like, like people say practice makes perfect, but it's like, but then other people are like, but perfect practice makes perfect. So you have to practice well and right in order to get it or the practice would be for naught type of deal. So I tried to go about it in a way that I know would like help me in the long run. Uh, and some of the hands I struggled with a lot, but I think that I kind of have like a new, like I have like a groove now after doing a bunch of this. Like I feel like I understand like the shape of the hands better when it comes to like the big part uh, and then the fingers. As long as I have like a reference, I think it's good. I did kind of get really drained at the end, which you could see based on the way that I was drawing the hands at the end. Uh, but some of the hands I'm kind of proud of, uh, like this one right here, or this one, if it's already past it. I like the way that I drew this hand. I think it was kind of cool, uh, not a pose of like a hand that I would normally do. And something that I used to do when I was first starting out is hide the things, like the arms, just like behind the body. So I feel like it's gonna be cool to try to like, play around with hands some more. Oh, this hand, the one where it's pointing, I, I just did that one because it reminded me of Batra in episode one of the Yawk. Played around with some other hands because I wanted to try to get some different like hand shapes. Because I feel like you can you can do a lot and tell a lot about a character based on their hands because there's so many different types of hands. There's slender hands, there's buff hands, there's small hands, there's big hands. Some hands have like bandages, you can give them like a tattoo, you can give them chip nails, different types of nails. There's a lot you can do with a hand. Oh yeah, I have this one character that I gave him like, <laughs> he's like a germaphobe, but he has like paper cuts all over him uh, cause he likes to like write on paper and stuff and it's not good <laughs> because he has to constantly put like hand sanitizer on and it stings. <laughs> but yeah, here are all my hands. Some of them, like I said, are more, more or less better than the others. But overall, I think I did a pretty good job when it came to practicing. I was watching Stranger Things when I was making a lot of these hands. I think season one I was rewatching it. That's crazy. Let me try to remember. I just forgot, I think. No, I didn't forget. Day five was draw more figures, quick gestures, and silhouettes. 20. And then I just ended up just combining this day with day six because I wanted to get it done, but I really wasn't looking forward to doing 20 figures. So I only did five, my bad. Um, and here they are. But I think they're pretty decent. I don't know. Let's just skip to that. So this one is let's have some fun. Design a character from either this or this character generator. Be creative and bring something to life. So I was like really excited about this one. I like doing character designs. And so the character generator thingy that I got was this. It's just um, a friendly toy maker whose scientific experiment leads to disaster. So I wanted to give him, of course, a peanut butter and jelly. So I wanted to go for, he has like, I was thinking like Frankenstein and Pinocchio kind of like thing where 
he let me just describe him so basically he is a toy maker and he plays a lot of games by himself and he's never really had any friends so everything that's on his person that i gave him is like kind of representative of things you could do by yourself like i gave him jacks i gave him like a little drum outline on his apron uh, i gave him a simon says thing around his like ribbon thing that's by the, his collar uh because i'm just assuming uh, this character I made, like all his life, he's been playing games by himself and he's like a toy maker guy and so he thinks that he has the ability to make a toy uh, that's like kind of sentient and like his own like their own person that and that he can like play games with. Uh, the ultimate like toy. <laughs> um, so he makes this person and obviously it's gonna go wrong. Uh, I designed, I did like a quick design of what I thought the experiment character toy would be but I didn't scrap it but I'm gonna bring it back later because we're supposed to bring our uh day six character back on day 13 so he'll be making an appearance again um just some other things about him I made his arms uh, and hands pretty slender and I made him really lanky because that's just like what I felt I gave him some uh like kind of just like scars and cuts from like toy making uh, I made him very tall Tired, very tired. I gave him some chapped lips, um, and what are some other things? Originally, I had his hair pushed back when I was like trying to come up with a design, but I just didn't like how it looked, uh, so I just went with my first one that I did. Uh, and yeah, there's some other things too that I had on his um, final part of the design that I wanted to mention. But let me see. gave him a watch, gave him some glasses. Yeah, I like how it turned out. I haven't given him a name or anything, but I'll put it on screen if I come up with one. I put the Jack designs in his eyes as like a little nod to the Jack's game. Okay, day seven. So day seven was pick the weirdest object in your room. Draw it shadows and highlights. So the weirdest object that I have in my room this is objective, but I'd say a lot of people would say that it's my Alfred cardboard cutout. I have how many cardboard cutouts? I have four cardboard cutouts. I have one of Kaiji from Your Turn to Die. He's behind my computer, keeps an eye on me. And then I have one of Maggie from our game that's in the corner. And then I have a Kaido one that I made a couple of years ago that I had have forever. And he's really tiny compared to the other ones because the other ones are like, I want them to be life size. So uh, this is the Alfred one. He stands right next to me on the left of me from my computer where I sit and work and do all my art. Yeah, he's my favorite Fire Emblem character. He's so cool. I love him. And you can see all the stuff in my, or not all the stuff, but you can see some of the stuff in my room. Like if you'd see my, um, some of my figures and I have a bunch of wallflowers. I don't think you can see them, but on the shelf, like next to him by his shoulder, I have a bunch of wallflower scents and I put in, uh, the day that I drew this one, I put in the flower child wallflower scent because that one I got specifically because I thought that it would smell like him. And I only put that one in for special occasions. And so this was a special occasion because I was drawing my boy Alfred. You can see my Haikyuu poster, you can see some of my art books at the bottom left. I really want to do a room tour or show off my like art books because I think that'd be really fun. <laughs> or like, or maybe do like a sketchbook tour or something. But yeah, this one took a decent amount of time. I was watching season three of Stranger Things when I was drawing this one. That's how I remember. <laughs> I tried to give it like a textury look at the end while I was coloring it just so you can like tell that it's a cardboard cutout. Um, and I also took a picture of him with my Christmas lights just so I could like play around with the lighting a little bit more because the challenge for this day was like to play around with the lighting. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I didn't do the background cause I got a little lazy and I had other stuff that I really need to work on. Uh, but yeah, here he is. Day eight. So day eight was find two to three objects, make a scene with them, draw it, bonus points for creativity, double points for dramatic lighting. So I didn't do the dramatic lighting. Oops. So my picture was a picture of Eggman. He's in like a basket. That's a little snack basket that I have for Robbie where I put his snacks in. Uh, and then I have a Sonic keychain that I got. Did it come with like, it came with something. It came with like the Sonic movie or something. I don't know. Uh, but I have this keychain and I like pose it in a way that like they look like they're about to like face off. Uh, and I decided to turn the basket into like a little egg basket and Eggman has like a bunch of eggs and he said, it's me, Eggman. And then Sonic goes, don't, don't put too many eggs in your basket. And yeah, I, I just like a cute little picture. This was just an excuse to draw Sonic. 
All right, day uh, nine. Draw a landscape of a place you've never been or drawn. So I picked Minecraft because I've never been to Minecraft before. You can see my Glamrock Freddy skin in there. It's usually Botra, but I remember I went to play Minecraft with Robbie and I switched it up. I, I don't like this one that much. Uh, this one did not turn out very good and I didn't, it's not like I didn't have time to redo it. It's just, it's kind of late. And so I wanted to try and get some other things done. Uh, I, I even tried redoing it and that did not work either. So I can't redo the redo. So yeah, I tried to, I was like trying to rely on like brushes just so I could see if I get my vision out on like how I wanted the picture to look. and. I don't know, it didn't turn out that well, and so I just like tried to redo it in like the blocky Minecraft style, but I have a really hard time with like perspective unless I take my time with it, so it was just, it was just very hard. But tomorrow is one point perspective, so I'm gonna try my darnness on that one. Uh, just to wait, oh no, 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 there's a little Mario in the back. <laughs> The last day for the 30 day challenge is draw a background with one perspective and then negative points if it's a railroad or empty street. So for the last day, what I did is I was going to draw a street with a mailbox and make it a little fancy and maybe having like a person biking on it. But I was like, that's too hard. So then I was like, I think a karaoke room would be fun. I, I didn't use any references for this. I should have, but I didn't because I was trying to get it done quickly. Uh, I added a little person on the chair that I made and there was a person singing. He gets uh, zapped out later because I didn't want to fully color him and line art him. So he's just gone now. I added some wacky colors. I think I put, I, I don't know, the perspective thing kind of confused me. I watched a video on it like literally today. So now I understand it a little bit better and I, I want to work on like backgrounds more. But for this one, it didn't turn out the best. But yeah, here it is. Okay, I said that this was part one of the 30 day challenge, but I decided I don't want to do the 30 day challenge anymore because I already pretty much draw every day. So now I feel like the drawing challenge thing has become a little bit of, uh, oh, I should, I guess I should do it now rather than like being excited about doing it. But yeah, there are, here are all my drawings for the 10 days. Whoa!